you just follow uh, the ice flow and just uh, down there uh, we see the grounding line. Why not you have now to point out the grounding line on the video? Yeah, well done. So uh, at this line the grounded ice uh, transitions to floating ice and forms a floating ice shelf. The floating ice shelf is typically relatively flat, it's fast and uh, it, it, it channels ice uh, towards the ocean. The important thing to realize is that already at the base of the ice shelf the ocean starts to melt and this is a very important ablation mechanism in Antarctica. At the far end you can see the ocean and this is where iceberg calving occurs. Iceberg calving is the second most important ablation mechanism in Antarctica. Reinhard!
All right, so here you are on the Priestly Glacier, looking at glacial hazards uh, in respect to landing helicopters. You can see we've got a lot of blue ice, which is really solid, hard, not too bad. We've got little patches of snow, which are often nice to put your skids on so they don't slip. But what we've got to watch for is that the snow isn't actually a massive deep hole. And we've exposed this one and just goes down into the black. Can't even see where it ends really. And it's just big enough for a person to go down. And so this is what we don't want to land in when we're touching down. That's scary shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> So here we are at a third site on the Priestly Glacier, our future campsite up above on the ridge. We've got Christian building a solar panel. Hello! Reinhardt's just making sure his hair's okay. Yeah, he's looking good. And uh, Hef, our pilot, is uh, busy constructing all the science equipment because uh, that's, that's what he does out uh, here. And I'd just like you to note that we are on the Priestly Glacier and it is dead calm. So all those can people complain about the Priestly Glacier, don't know what you're talking about. However, there's no snow here, which leads me to think maybe it does get a little breezy here from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna set this up as quick as we can before the weather changes its mind and uh, get out of here. Hi kids, this is where we camp. Um, there is a tent, that's the toilet tent. And then here are two sleeping tents. And this is the kitchen tent. Up here is our science tent. That's where all the fancy stuff is in. Okay, we need to open it, and this is a special tent. See, this is a funny construction. It's air in here, so you can pump it up, and it's very, very strong. It's then a lot of wind. And then in here, whoo, is a little radar, and that's measuring. I think you've seen this in previous pictures. And here is a little laptop. I'm just downloading data. Now watching movies. That's what we do for our entertainment. <laughs> we take a video. Yeah. Hey Christian, what are you up to? 
I am eating sticky date pudding. And how did you make that pudding? I put it into that pot. And where does the water come from? The water comes from snow, which is just here. What's this thingy? That's a saw to cut snow. Okay, show us. So oh, this is freezing. Schritt, 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 schritt. And from okay. the side, and you get a little nice slice of snow. Wow. And you just chuck it in here. So every water that you need has to be melted? Yes, it has to be melted. Oh man, how long does that take you? Um, to melt three liters for us will take like an hour, I think. Okay. So to make a cup of coffee in the morning, it takes about three hours from when you get up to when you get your first drink. <laughs> yeah. That includes so, making the dishes. <laughs> yeah. So you need to plan ahead. <laughs> okay. Good, you wanna say goodbye? I wanna say goodbye. 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 But see. <laughs>